you are listening to the Rants and Rambles show with your host, Seth Goldstein. Thank you to our sponsors, aweber.com, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hey everybody, here's another rant for all you guys to think about. I was listening to Upgrade on Relay.fm. Um, Jason Snell and Mike Hurley were talking about audio quality. And it was very interesting. Andy, um, my friend from A. Weber, told me to take a look, listen to them. Um, maybe it was a subtle hint that my audio quality on Hangouts stinks. Which I do agree that you know Hangouts doesn't have the best audio quality. But you take it, you take it where you can get, you know, for easy access to um, recording and streaming. But um, they were talking about different microphones. And I mean, I use the, the Blue microphone. They don't recommend that. I'm like, okay, well, that's the one I have. I mean, um, and they were talking about how certain people don't even have microphones and they're just using their laptop mics. But ultimately, I feel like we're, I agree with Jason when he says that podcasting is in its second infancy. Or at least I'm saying it's in its second infancy because... There was podcasting back in the, in like the early 2000s, you know, not early 2000s, but like the early beginning 2000s, like 2006, 2007, 2008, and then it died out. People start listening to podcasts, or who knows? There's now a resurgence in podcasting, and I I agree with Jason that we don't want to scare people off from trying to do podcasting and trying to share their knowledge and share their voices out there. It's the whole it's, it's being it's the whole democratization of media. And it's shaking me up on its head that you don't have to be an NPR personality to have a voice now because of the internet. And it's neat. Um, as I think about it more, I, I feel like there's different qualities of radio shows too. There's garbage that you get on these commercial stations that play commercials all the time. I mean, I, I like Preston and Steve on NPR if you're in the Philadelphia area, you know who I'm talking about. But it's a lot more junky than I would say an NPR station like Marco Armet or, you know, you know, or Guy Rizdal would do on um, NPR, on Marketplace. And they have really good mics and they're professionals. We're all kind of pseudo professionals, pseudo amateur, we're amateurs, you know, and, and, and I feel like it's getting someplace. And it's wonderful that we do these podcasts and people actually listen to them, which is amazing. I mean, people listen to my podcast and I'm like, wow, that's awesome. People want to hear what I have to say. Even if they're laughing at me or what I'm saying, they're at least listening to me and my, my viewpoint's getting out there. And whether or not they agree with me or not, sometimes I get calls you know, or emails saying, hey, you're an idiot. Or, hey, I agree, agree with you. Um, just thinking about the ramifications of... And a small little industry, a small little niche group of people being selective, saying, well, you don't have a Yeti microphone, or you use a Yeti microphone, or you use a Snowball. That's not the, you can't podcast. I think that's ridiculous. I think, you know, if you want to podcast, and you want to share your thoughts with the world, do it. And then if you feel like you're going to stick with it, invest in a little bit more better, better hardware, which I will eventually invest in a better microphone, and better camera, and, you know, eventually as yeah, fully tech builds up, we'll have the budget to do that. But it's not exactly a free hobby. It costs money to get these things up and, and working. And I feel like I, I agree with Mike and um, Jason how you need to be aware of your audio quality. Even on a video podcast, you be aware of your audio quality. But you also have to think about the content of what you're saying as well. I mean, in my opinion, as long as you're not crackling and popping and making people's ears like burn or bleed, and you have good content, people will listen. They might complain and say, dude, you need to get better audio, at which point you go out and get better audio, but at least you're getting some listeners. Love to hear what you have to think. Post in the comments below, um, and check out phillytech.org. We have a bunch of good shows coming out, a bunch of them in development, and if you're interested, hit me up at seth at phillytech.org. We're always looking for more talent. We're also looking for sponsors. Um, go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com, and support our show. A dollar a month, every little bit helps. 
And thank you to our spot, great sponsors, AWeber.com. Go to AWeber.com slash Philly Tech. So for um, a month worth of email hosting, email blasts for just $1. Um, get Flywheel, which is our web host. Awesome people. WordPress optimized hosting. Check them out at GetFlywheel.com. Wistia.com, W-I-S-T-I-A. They do the video hosting for us, and we thank them and love them for what they do. And also check out Zoho Mail. They are email the email system that we use to get our email. So when you email me at philly, Seth at phillytech.org, you can send to my Zoho box. So they're an alternative to Google Apps. And check them out. They're affordable, and they're great people. So catch you guys on the flip side. Have a great week.